hi welcome to my channel today I'm going to show you how to install one of the most popular open source email filtering system named EFA EFA stands for email filter appliance the system integrates several renowned open source and spamming software like mail scanner spam assassin climb antivirus Razor, Pizer, DCC, SQL Grey, and Image Severus for its various spam detection techniques. EFA is CentOS based, and today we will install this on CentOS 7. Before installation, I will recommend to read some of my blog posts regarding anti spam system deployment. On my channel, you can watch a few videos also to get clear about various mail server deployment it will help you to get a clear idea where we can place EFA for base protections so let's get started we can check these system requirements here EFA 4 can be installed on any system you want as long as it supports CentOS 7 and the system is dedicated to EFA 4 so we need a dedicated system for EFA 4 and CentOS 7 is the operating system 2 CPU 100 GB hard drive space SSD will be highly preferred because uh, anti-spamming system actually uh, scans a lot of mail and it takes time so high IO throughput is uh, required actually and 8 GB memory if we um, scan a lots of mail then we better increase uh, 8 GB to 16 GB uh, that will be better for the system to perform well before installation let's check our system hostname EFA fully qualified domain name is the EFA.mailserverguru.com so this is my incoming scanner after scanning mail uh, it will deliver to the uh, primary mail server where my user and mailbox resides let's check the operating system it is CentOS 7 7.7 7 .7. and we need to set the SLinux status to permissive if you disable SLinux it will give error during uh, installation so we are good to go so to install we can follow the alternative install method so let's copy wget let's download the build script we can check the build.bash if for build script version and this is the installation script so it will be fully automated installation after the package downloading it will ask several questions to configure we'll see that soon so let's execute it adding EFA repo EPL repo installed iOS repo installed updating the OS At this stage uh, it will take some time now it shows the system updated and removing conflicting packages installing EFA package this can take a while it will take some time again after waiting um, at least 20 minutes um, it says now the EFA 4 installed EFA 4 build script finished please reboot the system 
so do you wish to reboot the system yes hit enter and the system is going down for reboot so after reboot we will come back so after reboot we are logged back in now it's asking the question start EFA first time configure yes press enter key to continue we will now launch the built-in keyboard layout selector okay us english what is the host name of this machine efa presented the domain name for this machine mail server guru dot com please enter the email address for efa this email is for efa notification and yam cron okay let's give my personal one here configure ipv4 yes we have already set up our ip address so it's showing our ip address here so please hit enter and please enter the ipv4 netmask enter the default gateway everything is okay enable ipv6 no configure ipv6 no if it supports full DNS recursion doing so prevents common problem using DNS blacklist alternatively you can choose to forward DNS to your DNS server or your ISPs DNS server so enable full recursive DNS yes this will install a recursive DNS on the system please enter the username you would like to have this user will be used to log on to the web interface okay password please enter the username you would like to have this user will be used to log into the shell okay this will install tools for hypervisor configure virtualization yes because we're installing on a virtual machine so it's a good idea to install the VMware tools or open VM tools is this host to UTC time yes Asia from Bangladesh yes information okay one yes your INA code lowercase bd it's a two letter country code your mail server my mail server is mailer dot mail server guru dot com your organization's name mail server guru now it shows all the information we have provided up to this time if the settings are correct type OK so hit OK starting my ADB and configuring hope it will not take long time like before okay so it's generating the public private key pair configuring time zone configuring razor Now it's fully auto configuring. Thanks to EFA team for this automated installation script. Okay, so now it says the all success warning is already enabled SSH. So configuration complete, prepare to reboot in 60 seconds. Okay so 
installation is done already let's reboot the system after final reboot we try to log in through the root user but it is uh, a block now so we log back in with the user uh, CLA user so now it shows the EFA configuration program here we can see that we have uh, several option here uh, we can select any option and uh, we can change system settings and configuration through this uh, configuration program so right now we are not uh, changing anything here so let's go to the browser now type efa.mailserverguru.com this is the web interface of efa let's log in now we are logged in to the web interface on my later video i'll show you how to work with this uh, web interface so this is it for today we have successfully installed efa on centos 7 so thank you if you still didn't subscribe to my channel please subscribe i'll see you on the next video bye